Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. In this video, I will discuss about threshold trigger block. Open your PLC software on the left side, scroll down and go to counter section and select threshold trigger and click here. Give the comment threshold trigger. This is the block name. Okay, if you see there is one input and one output. The input is frequency, the output is digital output. And for that, I will take one digital input and one digital output and connect. And add the comment. It is the in frequency is the input, remember. And output is my digital output. So I'll just write output and go to simulation. See the threshold trigger block will set or reset the output based on the input frequency. If you go to the block properties here, there are two parameters. One is threshold on value and threshold off value. These are the input frequencies where we want to check. For example, if I want to turn on an output, if input frequency reaches 50, 50 H. Okay. Again, I want to turn off the output if the input frequency reached 85 or more. And click OK. Now, I will simulate this. If you see, this is the time value, and this one is zero is the measured input frequency. This is the normal switch now. I can only turn and off manually like this by clicking on it, but I cannot generate very high frequency value, right? So, for that, just go to the block properties, and here one tab is the simulation, and you can select frequency. If you select this, it will generate frequency in the simulation. Okay. So if you see here the value range, untick this and I will select 0 to 100 is my the input range, frequency range. You can enter any value within these limits and click OK. So what is our threshold on value 50 and threshold off value 85? So if my input frequency reaches 50, the output will be on. I am increasing the input frequency, see. Now the input frequency is 10 H. Output is off. I will increase 20, 30, 40, 50. Output is on. Okay. And I am still increasing the frequency, input frequency 70, 80. 90. Output is off. Once the frequency reaches the off value, which is 85, then output will be off. This is how we can control an output based on the input frequency signal. Okay. And if you go to the properties, you can change the time parameters. Okay. By default, it is the millisecond, and you can increase or decrease the value. Based on this time parameter also, the measured frequency will change. Change the values, simulate and test yourself. Also, I will give you one uh, simple problem to you, simple case study. Here, I am simulating the frequency using by default simulation parameter frequency, right? Instead of it, you take any of the analog parameter blocks. Okay, and generate the frequency, connect that frequency to this threshold trigger and verify the functionality of the threshold trigger block using the frequency source. Okay, if you have any experience with the industries, share with us how you use this type of blocks in your industries, in your control philosophies. Share with us through the comment section. Thank you.
I will meet you in the next video.